Hi, I'm staff writer Maddie Handley, and today I'm with head coach Chad Walker, the head track coach Chad Walker. How are you doing, coach? I'm great, thanks. Mm -hmm. So both boys and girls finished third for Panther Realize. How does that feel? How's the team looking this season? Well, uh, we're looking really good um, early. Uh, it, with, this is only our second track meet, so um, uh, finishing third out of 18 schools attending, it's a good start, and um, we had a lot of uh, we had a few first pay place finishes, but even more uh, second place finishes, and those those add up, those points add up, and uh, allow you to finish, um, you know, in the in the top five. So it, it was good. It was good. That's great. So I heard. Uh Senior Tito Alfia broke his own school record in the high jump Saturday in Panther Relays event. He did, yeah. He uh, he he's just coming out from basketball season, and um, last year he cleared six seven, and uh, he finished second in the high jump at Panther Relays and um, and cleared six eight. So uh, he's he's uh, he's on a fast start. And it looks like uh, he's he's in for a great senior season. That's great. So I saw on Twitter that uh, Olympic jumpist Ralph Boston was there. How does that inspire the team? Like, how did that feel? How did it come to be? Yeah, that was really uh, that was really a neat thing. We he he uh, he showed up that morning and um, was watching all the long jump, uh, the boys and the girls, and uh, just just walking around. He's 83 years old. So, um, you know, and he's still in great shape, but for him to come out and uh, be part of uh, the Panther Relays, uh, it, was, it was an honor. And, um, you know, he's, he's an Olympic gold medalist. I believe that was in 1960 uh, in the long jump. And then he also has an Olympic silver medal and a bronze medal. So, um, but yeah, he lives here in Peachtree City and just wanted to come out to a track meet. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was nice having them be part of it. That's great. So what strengths are you seeing from the team so far? Well, uh, right now, it's so early in the season. Uh, you know, the kids are still in, in pretty hard training mode. But uh, our distance kids, boys and girls, are doing really well. We've got a strong group of uh, senior, senior boys. And then uh, we also have a strong group of freshman girls. Uh, in the uh, in the distance on the distance side of things, and then uh, we we've got a uh, a solid solid group of seniors in the field events uh, on the boys side. Uh, Gray Joseph in the in the shot put, and Josh Pfeiffer in the discus, and then of course uh, Tito. We talked about him earlier, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're just we're hoping to um, feed off of those seniors and their leadership and. Uh, continue to uh, get better each meet. Okay. How do you build a sense of team with so many athletes in so many different groups? Yeah, so we do have a lot of athletes. Um, we have uh, probably 125 kids out there. So I think that the biggest thing is, is being able to give them the coaching that they need. And we have 12 coaches. So uh, we have, that's coaches from within the school and then also community coaches. So we have somebody that's able to coach each event, uh, field event, then we've got distance coaches, we've got sprinter coaches, and, and uh, they're able to um, um, you know, coach our kids to the best of their ability, and um, the kids stay interested, they stay focused, they, stay, um, uh, they, they, they set goals. And so it's, it's good when you have uh, coaches that are invested and then you also create a culture where kids feel like um, they have opportunity to uh, um, to be able to compete not just on the varsity level but at the JV level and uh, a lot of the kids do compete on the JV level um, as far as our team our, as far as the team goes because we have so many and you're only allowed a certain amount for varsity so I would say you've got about 80% of the kids that are out there that are, that are running on and competing on Wednesdays throughout uh, the month of March. But um, yeah, it's good. It's a good thing. And, uh, and there's a lot, a lot of involvement 
uh, with the program, and that's good. Okay. Uh, how are you getting ready for the Cowboy Invitational this weekend? Yeah, so this is a, this is a trip that we, we take every year down to Orlando. And uh, again, we, we are just continuing to uh, uh, trust the process. And that's, that's a big word. Uh, that's something that we, we uh, tell our kids all the time is, uh, you know, you're not going to see the results immediately. Uh, it may not be for another uh, week or two. So all you can do is try to do the best you can when you have an opportunity. And uh, this is another great opportunity um, in Orlando this weekend. Uh, for those that are making the trip, but if they don't make the trip, they get to uh, compete here on Wednesday uh, in the big uh, JV Invitational. Okay. So uh, that'll be another opportunity for everybody to compete as well. Okay. All right, Coach, let's jump ahead a couple of weeks. Why is Friday Night Lights so meaningful and why should people go out to see it? Yeah, it, well, uh, number one, it's exciting. Uh, number two, there's probably 30 schools uh, very competitive schools in track and field that come and we started this uh, years ago and uh, it was right before spring break and I thought that you know what if we have a meet on Friday then everybody can leave for spring break Saturday and they don't have to hang around for the Saturday meet and so it started small and now it's uh, it's grown over the years and now it's one of the most competitive meets in the state all classification so uh, it, it is it is uh, it, it, it's there's field events going on the same time running events are going on and that uh and, and it's it's just uh, it, it's something that uh, you, you, you don't see much throughout the state this type of a meet okay. and so it's very rare to see that um where you have both things going on at the same time uh, especially at night usually track and fields done throughout the day and are on the weekend or during the week um, and so this is just uh, this is something that we we uh, we take great pride in and um, uh, have a lot of fun doing it. But uh, I think that the word has gotten out that uh, this is this is a big meet. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Coach, so, so much for coming out to see me, and okay. I hope you have a great season. All right. Thanks for your time. Y'all have a good one.